Welcome to the Unturned Apocalypse RP movie. This is basically kind of a super cut of our 11 episodes into one giant movie. And I only added in the important story parts. Now, the disappointing thing is that the plot of the storyline kind of changed. Because it was like a Let's Play series. And then it kind of turned into a story series. So the plot during like episode 2 and episode 4 and even episode 3 didn't have much canonicity. Basically, it just wasn't important to the story. So it kind of got cut out. But I did explain it a little bit later. So I hope you guys enjoy. And this is a... One hour, thirty minute movie. <laughs> Hypothermic insulation. Be careful. There's been a massive zombie outbreak. Please stay indoors. Do not try and fight them. The will overpower you. Do not get beaten. At any point if you are bitten, please get a port to a hospital as soon as possible. I saw a friend is here. I saw a friend is here. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Brody. Nice shotgun. You, I know you. You literally sleep religiously with that thing. Um, is Anthony in his Gosh. cabinet? Anthony, are you here? Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah, and Anthony, how's your cabinet? Was it comfy today? Yeah, it's it's all hard and woody, you know. Yeah, as as it always is. So um, we have a problem. We're almost out of food. Oh, no. And water. Oh no. I mean, oh, like... Oh man, this is... We have a farm. This is so unfortunate. Why are you eating more of our food and water? I was hungry. Everyone's hungry! But I was hungry. Where were you I, hiding in my that? Pocket. <laughs> in my pocket. Anthony, I told you to pickpocket him for food. Uh... Oh no, it was really hidden in his pocket. That's gross. <laughs> what? What? No, what are you doing? Why'd you eat that? Uh, I was hungry, man. Okay, we're gonna leave before he eats any more of our food. So, there was a flare <laughs> that shot up from Moscow. You guys saw it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. So we're gonna be heading down to Moscow. The problem is Moscow is really far away, right? So that means that it we kind of, yeah. So that means we need a car. The problem is our car 
Anthony left the engine on, and it has no more gas or battery. So and it exploded. And it exploded too. That might have been my fault. Um, and someone apparently is talking to themselves. But besides that, we saw a car. Uh, eastward, I think it was. And we're gonna go over there and get it, and then drive to Moscow. Does that sound good with everyone? Yay. Yeah. That sounds awesome. I yeah. think Brody was the one who was talking to himself. Okay, let's go. <gasps> Anthony. Anthony. Illegal. He has some too! <laughs> Oh uh, man, nice mm. pink pants you got there. So, while Brody is packing up our stuff, me and Anthony decided to scout out the neighbor's farm because, um, they're probably dead. Or gone. Who knows. I wouldn't go yeah, through the field. If there's a zombie, you're getting bitten. So, the yeah, zombie it'll, apocalypse it'll has been uh, going on for a few days now. Um, we've been in that house for a while. That's where we used to live. But, you know, it's kind of sad. Everyone died. Not really, though. So, uh, the, first, the first zombie was seen on November 29th, I think it was. So, it's been two days since the outbreak, and all our neighbors are zombies. So, it is turning nighttime, and um, Brody is not back yet. So, we decided to steal the neighbor's uh, vehicle, and we left a little note on it that said that we're heading eastwards without him. The reason we're doing this is because it's nighttime and you know you don't exactly want to be here during nighttime because for some reason zombies like passing through here. Even though this is our area, you know, they just they just show up randomly and it sucks. So we're gonna go down there. We kind of need the food and water. We just hope he's okay. We left the vehicle for him. That's what I mean. Look how many zombies there already are. But oh, yeah. We need we need to head over there. Hopefully he doesn't. He's not. Hopefully he's not one of those. I mean, they're wearing farmer outfits, but I didn't see a top hat, so we're gonna move on. Hmm. That guy looks kind of sus. Hmm. I see at least two of them. One. You know. Uh, we should. It's an easy, easy. And one dead one. Just... Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna start sniping the one on the right. Uh, Let's see. Let's... He's dead. Dropped. I'll get the one on the left too. You just you get any that hear the gunshot. Hmm. Hat. That might have been it already. Ooh, it's not it's not a. Is that a uh, boat? Uh, yeah, that that is a boat. It looks like it's like there's lights on it. There might be survivors on there. Hmm, let's not try it. Maybe it's 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 only been two days since the apocalypse happened. I mean, they could have always been out there, so there could be people alive on there. I mean, I'm not gonna swim over there. They'll probably shoot anything they see in the water. So let's not go over there. Yeah, they'll probably automatically kill us. Wow. All right, this place looks like it's been occupied by a survivor before. But there's zombies, so I don't know. I don't know. It looks kind of sus. Oh. This, this thing apparently doesn't have much bullet drop. Good to know. Due to the uh, lack of energy we have, we decided that we're gonna camp into. We're gonna camp in this. Uh, what is this windmill? Yeah, this windmill. Windmill. And we're gonna sleep Wind until day. Windmill. Hopefully, hopefully Brody is back by then, but we'll see. So. I also got my dates wrong. Yesterday was November, or not yesterday. Well, yesterday was November 30th. Nope, nope, November 29th. Sorry. Today's November 30th. Tomorrow will be December 1st. So, yes. hopefully we can get there. There will probably already be survivors there. So. Wait, but today's December 1st. Today is not December 1st. <laughs> hey. Where's the where's the quad? 
Exploded. How did you blow it up this time? A little something like this. But why? It was out of fuel. So you blew it up. Again. Yeah, something like this. Here's the place. And I see our vehicle all the way over there. So from here... Does this one have gas? Yeah, it does. We're going to go up to Yektukvurg, go left, and then head into Moscow. So, let's go in and steal that car. Alright, the car is good. When we're ready, we can go. We are now on our way to Moscow. I will see you guys when we are there. Oh, there's a place there. Yeah, if ever we do are you guys friends, wanna drop, Do you guys want to drop by? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's just okay. see what they got. There are zombies. Oh, there's a bunch of car stuff. Maybe there's a car. Wait, is that a white van? Hang on. <laughs> Wait, is it actually a white van? Not gas. <laughs> there is a white okay. van! <laughs> yeah, it has gas, uh, too. Okay. You've attracted a lot of zombies. Don't worry. I'll help. Brett. What? Brett, come here. What? <gasps> Drugs! Drugs. Drugs. You can have that one. <laughs> yes, we have done it, guys. We have finally made a jerry can with no fuel. Is there fuel here? Because if not, we're going to have to take the white van. Yeah, there is. Okay. We aren't taking the white van. We're, we're not those type of people. Hey, Brett. What? I'm riding shotgun with a shotgun. You're terrible at puns. So we're heading up to Moscow. We are just going to drive through the middle and uh, yeah, we're just going to hope. I probably shouldn't be following the traffic laws. And oh, there's someone else. I <laughs> Car crash. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, we're here. Oh, hey, look, there's people here. Oh. So we are gathered here from the flare that has shot up. That we have all seen. We have gathered around this campfire. We need to establish a government of some sort. Now, I heard that this man over here said he knows where a good spot is. What do you call this spot again? Zelenogorsk. Zelenogorsk. So, in order to Ooh keep a city running, we have to elect our mayor slash president of the area. So we're gonna vote on who that is. Hi, yeah, I'm Brody. Uh, I really like shotguns and long lost on the beach and I'm a farmer and I got rare skin disease. It's quite, it's quite bad, but I'm also a surgeon. But I'm also, I also love shotguns, so that's also something. Alright, I'm Anthony. I'm a farmer. And I really suck at surviving. So and how I'm are getting you? carried by two oh. people. I was gonna say, so how are you still alive and you said you're being carried? Alright. Alright, I'm Kotex. Uh, I'm the founder of this gang and I like guns and bombs. <laughs> I am in the military. I like fast airplanes, and my name is Jet. Ah, nice. What a coincidence. All right. The votes have been counted, and our president-elect is Kotex, right over here, the guy with the beard. So, he will be organizing our group from now on, and then Wee. you know. We'll try and survive together. Now, me, Brody, and Anthony might, you know, just sit up on a rooftop for today, kind of chill out, uh, get Brody in his ride. white van, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and do whatever. But Kotex will and be setting up the. Ride. Kotex will be setting up Zeleno, and we will start building there soon. All right, guys, it's getting late. We are currently held up in a building on the, the top floor. Anthony's in his closet. I'm bunking with him. 
<laughs> and over here we have little defense squad. Birdie has a door, and in here he he's bunking with his shotgun. Mm, yes, shotgun. Mm. And, and so I'll leave him with that. That's probably why he has a door. Uh, there's the building right over there. Our, there's a zombie apparently by our car. That's not great. But people have gone off to Zel Zeleno to start the civilization. We're gonna camp here overnight. Hopefully tomorrow the zombies move out the way. For some reason, you know, it becomes nighttime and like they go to the only sources of light, which you probably should have turned that fire off. But anyways, tomorrow I don't know what we're gonna do. I guess we have a survivor people. We're just we're just so used to just being locked up in a room, but we have such little food and water since this place has been scavenged before we even got here. So tomorrow we're probably gonna take the car go around, help people, and yeah, so, see you guys later. Oh! Oh, they are! There are! Nice. Nice, guys cleared them out. Oh, someone needs help, let's go help them. Quickly. Help! We need to see help. who it is! Here we go. Oh, this they just killed him. Oh! It's Menacing Burger! He's hiding in a plant! Uh, we're, a plant. We're, not, we're not- we're not a threat. No, what are you doing? I think he might here. be scared of us. He's like a moth- he's like a moth, but- He's like a moth, but the opposite. He runs away from the light instead of towards it. Where'd he go? Oh, he's driving away. He's driving away. <laughs> oh, is he trying to hit us? No, no. Uh, Okay, I think he knows that the thing is whatever. Alright, well, I don't know who that guy was, but hopefully we'll meet him later. Anyways, the zombies are getting restless, so we're gonna go, like I just said. But, yep. we just had that- we just had that interruption, so... Yeah. So, we're gonna re-barricade the house. Okay, then. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to have even shotgun shells. Yeah. And we're gonna go. So... Good night, y'all. See you in the morning. Hopefully we don't get swarmed. Brat, there's zombies. Zombies. What? what? Oh. There's zombies. A lot of them. They're, gonna, they're trying to get in. Oh. Can we kill them? Oh! Jump! Oh, they're in. Jump! They're in. Jump! I don't have friends there! Yeah, no! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Get in the car! Get in the car! No! Anthony, come back! Alright, I'm in, I'm in! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! go. go. Anthony, go. Alright, so, uh, we got out of Moscow, but our car is <laughs> almost broken. Anthony oh, managed to tr crash into a tree, so now it's it's no longer an automatic, it's a stick shift. So, uh, he doesn't know how to drive <laughs> stick shift, so he's gonna go back in the backseat and think about what he's done. And, oh. yeah, Brody's a cripple, uh, I actually have a splint, so... There you go. Oh, thank you. So I'm we're gonna go. Anymore. We're gonna go back to that car place that we saw earlier when we made our wooden gas can, and we're gonna fix the car. And if worse comes to worse, take that white van and yeah, put me in the back. <laughs> All right. So we have driven back to the uh, little mechanics area here. We found some blow torches. Brody has a gas can now. So actually Brody yeah. can take his white van that he wants. Yeah. White and, van, let's go. And he can go do whatever he wants. Now, obviously we're gonna stick together, but Brody has his own vehicle now. Anthony can now ride in the passenger seat. He doesn't have to sit in the yeah. back like a little kid. <laughs> hey Brad, I found I found myself a construction helmet. 
get in my van. By get in my van, I mean it's no Frank longer Andy. just a van. It's the ambulance. <laughs> oh wow! I love our budget ambulance. Man, <laughs> now you can't be called those like free candy people. Yeah, I'm an ambulance now. Look. Oh yeah, because you you are our medic. I forgot actually. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that the, makes sense. The shotgun and, surgeon. Yeah, the shotgun medic. The van. Wait, what'd you call it? The ambulance. Yeah. I thought you called it the van ambulance. No, it's the ambulance. The van ambulance. The van ambulance. <laughs> the van. Fine, Sorry, it's just like that's a funny. That's a funny. It's it's not the van van ambulance. Oh well. Man. Oh, is that a police car? Oh, it's more than just a police car too. Oh, hang on, let's it's, let's it's clear this out. <laughs> Anthony has his red little jeep. Hold on. Wait, look, there's someone here. Ah, hey, we're friends. Friends. Hang on, guys, wave at him. Yay! I'm gonna continue is, to point my shotgun. Oh, it's oh, it's the one guy. It's the guy we saw yesterday. Ah, uh, Burger. So, what's your name? We didn't get it last time. You ran away from us. Oh, also, we are now called the uh, Toonie Townies. Yeah, Toonie Townies. Anyways, we're gonna go set up our little camp that we're gonna have, and that's gonna be our like re revolution camp. Okay, I found where we're living. We're living to we're living to the left the uh, the left side of the road. I have found it. Yeah, yeah. What the heck? Why is this such a great spot? Okay, we're living here. Me and uh Jack over here. We set up a little little base next to our area, if you'd like to see. This is our beautiful land that we have claimed. And next episode, we're probably going to be building our bases, our little houses. We, of course, are living here because Zelenogorsk, uh, they kind of suck for some reason. They shoot you on sight when... You're driving a car, which isn't how the world used to work. Normally you got pulled over by the police, not gunned down for saying that you don't have a gun's license. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna be just kind of chilling out over here. And tomorrow, we're gonna have some stuff set up. Now the other two, I don't really know what they're doing. They just started looting for us. They're getting food and water. But we were looking for the base spot, so yeah, that's where they're they're at right now, and we're just gonna chill out here till they get here. I have claimed this area roughly for my house. I don't know where the other people are. They're building their uh, super shotgun medical center. I think he's gonna be building next to me, so he's gonna be my creepy neighbor. Anthony's over there. Uh, we have our camp up there. I have two vehicles now. A bunch of storage to make stuff, and I'm going to be going out getting some metal scrap because, uh, to put it simply, I'm going to be putting my floor as metal or brick. Nope, oh, there's someone at the house. Hello there, who are you? Hello, I am from a group of survivors on a helicarrier in the water. We were wondering if you would like to help us with some things. Oh, like, what type of things? I do not know for certain, but you'll have to ask our captain if oh. you join. Oh yeah, we'll do it. Um, we'll go in the morning, I guess. Right, Anthony? Okay, I think our <laughs> captain will be very pleased to hear. Alright, thank you. Good day. Uh, man, that, that was nice, Anthony. Alright, so me and Brody are going down to the Liberator, so we can go talk to that captain person. Yeah, now, they want to talk to us. Yeah, since our since our ski jet doesn't work, we're just gonna be swimming there, and there is a hey, birch crate that? in the road. Oh man, look what? how much glue there is in here. That's man, that's crazy. Of glue. What? What was... uh, I think. Oh! Oh! Ah! 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 Ah!
I need Brody. All right. Hey, Ivan, want to see something funny? Alright guys, we are back from that destruction now. I'm gonna clear out the place, but I'll try and meet up with everyone as soon as I can. Alright, I've cleared out the area, I got the car out. And yeah, I have to say, having a gun is actually useful now. I mean, a gun was always useful, but like... Honestly, shooting them is a lot easier than doing nothing. So, uh, I, I'm not sure, but I think this is an actual tank. Like a working one. I mean, oh my god, it is. Um, so, uh, we have a tank now. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> Oh yes, we got it too! Freedom! <laughs> Freedom! Yes! <laughs> oh, this is going to be so useful. Alright, so I'm going to go into Moscow. I don't know how we're going to fight the zombies, because as you can see, they like, throw spit at you now, or they're on fire. Ah! Oh! Oh! No, Anthony! Anthony! It's me! Anthony, stop! Anthony! What? Are you hiding in a tree? No. Yes. Yes. Also, why are you using a paintball gun? You literally have a pistol on your side. Does it have like no ammo? Yeah, sadly. Oh, do you I have any out. food? Water? Where, where's everyone else? Uh, I've I've just kind of been eating on the tree, you know, and I don't I don't know. I just you've been eating a tree. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> It's actually not... Not that bad. Um, so I was... Okay, well, I was gonna go into Moscow and get some gear and then break out Brody from the airport. Do you want to come with me? Sure, if it's for Brody, we gotta do it. There we go. So let's check around this military base. I don't know... There's a vehicle we could take, but... This gun, this gun's pretty cool. I heard it's like a, a little sniper thing. Oh, this is Zubeknikov! These military units would use these. I think I think we're geared enough. So oh, yeah. I think I think we're we're geared enough to go and save Brody. I don't know if anyone else is there, but if they are they they're lost. I don't, I don't care enough. We Brody, Brody's the only important one. Yeah. Brody matters because I don't know. He's our medic. What if, what if we what if we get hurt? Like I'm hurt right now. I st I tripped. Uh, how am I going to heal myself? All right, Anthony, let's go. We're going to go let's save go! Brody. Ah! Get him. Get him. Try. Take okay. shots on him. Oh, we got him for sure. Oh. All right, let's go get we Brody. Let's do this. Brody! Oh, hey guys. Brody, nice. do you have a key? Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, we Let's did. go. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Alright guys, we need to get out of here. We can just run away to the next place.
Alright, it's been a long time, Anthony. It took us a long time to walk to Moscow. So Brody set up Wrong. camp. My legs, Brody... sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say. Brody set up camp a while back. We're gonna go pick him up once we find a vehicle, but... You know, we, we need some place to rest first. Now, I know Moscow has a ton of zombies, but... We could probably find a place. So, we we're just gonna go in there and there's someone here. <laughs> Maybe he can give us a ride. I mean, we can get Brody later, right? He he expects us to come back tomorrow. So, uh, yes. hello, sir. Um, are you okay? Um, you seem to have a lot of glue there. Yeah, the glue. <coughs> what? Oh. Who's that? Sir, are you okay? You seem uh, to be uh, drinking and driving. No, I I am uh sitting in the seat off of Ossifer. Uh, we're not oh. officers. Oh, oh, gosh. oh go good. So, um, uh, do you live near here? Yeah, other side of town. Nice, uh, nice view, you know. Do Do you want me to drive you home? Oh, that'd be mighty nice. Okay, get get in, Anthony. We're just gonna kidnap get this this guy. He's drinking more. Okay. Uh, well, we'll go. Road, you know. <laughs> I can. Uh, on the left. On the left. Left. Yep. Yeah. Left. Yeah. Um. Left. 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 That's left, that's a uh, that's a pole. Um. Nah, that's a bad pole. Anyway, it doesn't work. No. One's uh, gonna uh, this is your circular base house. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, getting things, getting things going. You know. Uh, do you need assistance out of the car, or do you think you got it? Uh. I think I've been sitting so long, my legs asleep. But I'll be all here. Be here, I'll wake you up. Ah, oh, yep. <clears throat> that's what. Yeah, that's the good old Irish wake up. Oh uh, okay. well. By any chance, can we like bunk here for the night and then go get someone tomorrow? Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure. You know, it's a little, uh, little breezy. You know, it's a bit of a fix, fixer up, but you know, we're, we're getting there. Hey Brett, you want to see something cool? Um, hello? Oh, hey there. Found a car for you. Ah. Oh, it's a green auto. Mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to have a black one of these until... Yeah, they... It wasn't, it wasn't there anymore. Yeah, weird about that. I just got done painting this one. Anyways, so... Um, is Anthony, you know, not dead? Uh, I don't know. That kid is like... I, I've, I've known some heavy sleepers in my time, but I worry about him. He just he just drinks a lot of Mountain Dew. Yeah, that's, that's not healthy. <laughs> I mean, he, he has been eating tree bark for like two weeks, so like... I, ge I guess True. that makes sense. Anyways, I need to go pick up Brody. Um, it's just turning morning, so... <laughs> You know, I bet it, I better mm -hmm. go before he like dies. Also, Brody. Hey. 
How how have you been sleeping out here by yourself in the cold? My shotgun broke. <laughs> I've, been, oh. I've been using this bow. Oh, that's that's depressing. I've you been have making my own error. <laughs> Do you have your shotgun in your backpack just like folded in half? I have the different pieces of it. How how did you break it? There was a deer. And I shot the deer, but then it ran at me and it hit its antlers and I shot it again and it, hit, it stuffed its one of its antlers in the barrel and it the gun just it broke. Oh, is that why you have uh venison in your back pocket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tasty, tasty venison. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we're gonna go back to Moscow. Anthony is sleeping in Roz's house. We might go get him, but he's he kind of drank too much Mountain Dew, so I think he's sick. Oh, he's yeah. a little hungover on the Mountain Dew. <laughs> exactly. So let's go back. Hmm, Birdie. Birdie. You know what I've realized? Yeah. There's not any zombies in Moscow. At least not very many. Yeah. There's a few down there. Well, what happened down here? Like, why are they gone? I was gonna say, there's also boarded up windows. Brody, have I ever told you how nice of a beard you have? Oh. Yeah, it's really great. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Destruction! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Yo, what is going on? What are you guys doing? I'm uh, um. currently trying not to die. Anyways, uh... Um, Hold on, can you, um, put your gun on safety? Oh, uh, yeah, hang on. Hold uh, let, let me put my bow and arrow in safety mode. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that was a nice lamppost you had there. Uh, it's a shame it's not there anymore. I also knocked your trash over. Oh, well, it was an awesome lamp, first of all. It is going to be a pain to replace it, um... Wait, that's how it works now? I thought the apocalypse has been going on for like three weeks. Three weeks? Where are you guys from? Um, well... The last time we checked, Moscow was half ran over by zombies and the only place without any was the cathedral. Well, luckily I moved down here with eight other people. We've only barricaded some buildings, but we're slowly rebuilding it. Now there aren't any zombies here because we've cleared many of them out. Yeah, there's huh. also no lamppost either anymore. Yeah, hey, can I, can we pay for that in um, shotgun shells? No. Um, uh, you're going to have to go for a supply run. But shotgun shells are a supply. <laughs> have you ever seen... Brody, you have a shotgun Brody. right there. Brody, have you ever... Brody, have you ever seen a lamppost made out of shotguns? Yeah. That wasn't yours. I mean, I mean, my my doctor friend also had one. Yeah, but your doctor friend is also weird. So what do we need to do exactly? So obviously we need to rebuild the lamp, since you guys don't know how to rebuild it. There is something else you can do while I go get the supplies to rebuild it. Yeah, I, I mean, don't. Know I can do. I can fix this if you no, have a, a, no, a he, shotgun. He doesn't know a how light to fix bulb, a lamp. He doesn't know how to fix. He doesn't wire, know how to fix a lamp. And, a, and and eight gallons of maple syrup. The lamp will probably explode if you let him do it. As much as I um, trust your yellow skin self, I are you being racist against my skin? <laughs> no. It's a rare skin disease I'll have you now. How about you do this task for me? You might want to go see a skin therapist. No, don't worry. I'm I am a skin therapist. I'm I'm a doctor. He's a doctor. <laughs> oh, are you? Yes, I'm the doctor. I've been trying to cure this for a while. It just doesn't work. Where can we get this lamp supplies? Um, so like I said, I can go get the lamp supplies, but there is something that I always wanted, and you guys can go and get it. How about you guys go get me a Tommy gun? Oh, I, I actually know where where we can find some because I once had a Tommy gun, then like immediately got it taken away. Oh, do you? 
Uh, yeah, it happens to be, like, up north, kind of. Oh, alright. Well, if you guys find me a Tommy gun, I can go out and find the supplies. A and rebuild the lamp. <laughs> yeah, well, when you get back, maybe you can join the civilization with me. Oh, uh, yeah, because Moscow is now an actual civilization, kind of. A growing civilization. Alright, that's nice, because... We haven't gotten a chance to look at our base recently, our old base, but we've just, like, we've heard word that it's not good. <laughs> it's kind of been destroyed a little bit. Yeah. So, we're kind of homeless now. Well, maybe I can find you a mamacita. Wait, were you going to give us a mother? No, I mean, oh. like a girlfriend. So a mother. <laughs> We'll just we'll just go now before he says something even stupider, and before I like run over your other trash can, or you. Okay, I'll, I'll we'll try and get that Tommy gun. See ya. We are back, and we are at the Kroby Estate. Remember, we've been here before. You found your mafia hat that, of course, we lost already. But yeah. now we're gonna be assassinating. What's left of these people? Hey Brody, there's a uh, vehicle here. The problem is oh, that man. it's like... This is a, this is yeah. a classic. I, I love these things. Yeah, the problem is it's missing some wheels. I mean, we might have to check the back to see if there are any, uh, you yeah. know, tires. Oh, uh, hey Brody, look! I found the tire! Oh, wow. Oh wow, Brett. I also found a tire. You know what that means? We can fix the car. Yeah. I mean, how'd the how'd the ghost get over here? That's. Ah uh, no, man. Hmm. Man. Oh well. Let's just fix the tire. Hopefully, it doesn't like you know float. Oh or man, anything. my dad had one of these. Uh, we need to go get that Tommy gun. Oh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> you found the you found you found the Tommy gun. <laughs> yeah. Yo! Nice. <laughs> we can go fix that lamppost now. Yeah. Or at least, you know. <laughs> pay for it. Pay, pay for destroying a Tommy gun. Or lamppost. It's been a long day. Okay. We're here! Oh, I. Yeah. Oh, I hit your trash again. Um, yeah, that happened. Man, I'm. Oh, okay. Man, apparently there's like some screaming people. They must be like really sad or something, you know? Um, no, the neighbors just have an infant. Oh. So, um, why did you hit my trash can again? Um, I was honestly For looking at For the record, at... it was his fault. I was looking at you and I was just so happy to see you cuz we got the uh we got the Tommy gun you wanted and a little bit of ammo for it. Oh, sweet. I've always wanted to have so, uh, one of those things, you know? I see you already fixed the lamppost. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm happy you didn't hit it this time again. Oh. Oh! Nice. You got, you got destroyed. So, um... Is there anywhere we can stay? Because... It's kind of late, as you can see now. And we have someone who's sick over a Mountain Dew overdose, and we kind of need a place for him to stay. Yeah, there are a bunch of apartments across town. The thing is, we have a currency system. Do you understand when I say currency? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I understand currency. Here, um, here's a tip. Uh. Ah, uh, shock and shells. Here, I'll, I'll give you thirty dollars for right. a place to stay uh, overnight. I guess this will work. That, that's all I have. Let's go to your your apartment. We've stayed in one before, but it got overran. Oh, um, was this a while ago? Yeah, yeah, like th like three weeks ago. Oh, so where did this happen? Oh, it was way. It was like across town, like literally, in one of those apartment buildings. To be fair, I think that was like just someone's fault for, you know. Deciding to try and eat fish overnight. Eat, I mean, look. Sometimes a man's got to eat 
a fish, right? But you also sometimes a man has to learn how to catch a fish. So the he man shot it with a fish. shotgun. But there wasn't much fish. of the fish left. It there was fish. I was I used a slug. It was fine. Okay. Anyways, do you have a place? Yep. Follow me. All right. So is this the uh, apartment building you're talking about? Yes, it is. I recommend that you go to the top floor on the left. It is a one-bedroom apartment. Now, since you did help me out, besides the lamppost, after this, I may give you a reduced price in your apartment rents. However, normally you need to pay rent, or you can just buy a so house. So what I'm hearing is this is only a one-time uh, visit here. Okay. Yes, <laughs> unless you pay I mean, your I'm rent. Guessing... Or... Let me Fire tuck them. in my shotgun. <laughs> oh yeah, you were screaming out the window. I was like, you're on a lower floor. I just didn't know which floor you were on. Oh, uh, here. Do you by any chance... Hang on. Do you have a um, radio by any chance? Uh, anywhere? Oh, no. Okay, well, when you, when you find a radio, here's the uh, radio signal. So if we ever need to radio across town for any reason, I can radio you. Oh, thank you. I will so, keep track of it. You know, for now we'll just scream through the window. I actually have an earpiece uh, that I had sitting in my house. Oh yeah, you can just connect it to your earpiece. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your stay together in this apartment building, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and a shotgun. So, I a thank you doesn't work. for your kindness. And we will start working tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. Unless, of course, something happens, which let's just hope that doesn't happen. Goodbye. So, see you later. Alright, Brody, um... Your shotgun is on the bed. Uh, or what's left of it, yeah. <laughs> That's so depressing. Man, are you gonna ever repair it? Or at least, maybe, try to? I've been trying, but I just can't. Oh, well... It's never gonna be the same. Well, I think we need to sleep. It's actually somehow turning morning already. It's it was a long time to get that. So I'm tired, you can... take a long nap. Yeah, you can take... a sleep with your shotgun. No. Okay. Uh, what are you doing, Brody? Repairing this lamp. But you don't know how to repair a lamp. I'm figuring it out. Um, is it gonna explode? Oh, there's only a 50% chance. Um, I'll just... I'll, I'll, I'll stand over here. Um, hey Brody, I heard an explosion. Um, the lamp is gone. It looked at me funny. Are you... Are you sure you, it didn't blow up on its own? Uh, no, I blew it up. But why? Intentionally. Because it, I didn't like it. No, I'm, totally I don't, not I don't care that you actually blew it up. I'm, I'm, I'm questioning why you put explosives in a lamp. Well, how else you meant to make it run? Not with explosives. <laughs> uh, explosives how... is what makes the world go around. Uh, the, wor the, so the earth just explodes repeatedly and that's how it turns. This is why your skin is yellow. Racist. So yeah, that's so that's how I found my, my shotgun. Um, uh, was it yeah. in good shape? It was great. Oh, hey, Brett. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, we've been talking about, uh, housing Use prices. There's a little shotgun story, too. Ah, wait, hang on. Did you say housing prices? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, do you know about an apartment building that we could buy? There's actually, um, the cheaper one that I can think of would be around $75, and it's this way if you just oh. follow me. We could probably get $75. 
So it's right over here. Uh, the rooms are kind of tight, so the best way I can describe this would be more like a college experience. Like a college know, dorm? Whole, pretty much, yeah. It's yeah, pretty tight, yeah. so you guys might be better off just getting different rooms, just separate rooms for each other, but unless one of you is totally fine of, you know, just slipping on the couch, that's always an option. Uh, I mean, he, he needs the couch for a shotgun. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Uh, man, these reminds me of my college days. All like 12 years of them. Oh, yeah, you went to college. I forgot. Me to medical school. I thought you dropped out of eight, college. Four. Well, I meant to went to medical school. school. Uh, was it before your skin turned yellow? No, my, it's been since I was born. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I see we have a neighbor. Uh, yeah, somebody already paid. And you have a. Uh, he's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, right, so Support. we'll get. We'll go get seventy-five dollars. Um, I would I would stay and talk, but like, I am really thirsty, and yeah, that's that's about it. That is so yeah. fun. So, yeah, we, are you guys getting one uh, one room or two? We'll get we'll pay, get enough money for two separate rooms. We'll discuss the details when we get back. Let's go drive down to Saint Petersburg. Um, where's your car? I don't. Uh, it's I don't not see here. It. I oh, hit did it. You, did you did you hide it somewhere? I know it's called a ghost, but like, it's invisible. It's invisible. It's right here, but you can't see it. Ah, uh, is, it, look, is it in these bushes look, somewhere? I'm, oh wow, you're me. floating on the bushes. I'm just floating in the air. Oh, oh, it's right here. I just ran into it, man. It's uh, it's so hidden, you know. Yeah, it's so well <laughs> hidden in the bushes. Anyways, I think it's so hidden in the bushes that we might wanna um, we might want to take my car. Mm -hmm. So. We're gonna take a nice, um, nice road trip to St. Petersburg. Hopefully, they have a nice like McDonald's or something there. I guess McDonald's are canonical now, so we're gonna go to St. Petersburg. Try not to die and get seventy-five dollars each for our apartment. So, Brody, do you wanna learn? Do you wanna know what I just learned? Yeah. So, since I'm a really good electrician, I have this generator, and uh -huh. I'm gonna fill it with fuel. And you know how we've uh -huh. been like dying of thirst, but we can't get into these vending machines because, you know, people die because of vending machines? Uh -huh. Well, I click on it, or I, I, I guess oh. I overload it with electricity, and I get soda! We can get soda! Cheers! Cheers! Alright, so Brody and I, uh, we are no longer thirsty, we have bought... <sighs> stuff from the vending machine totally didn't just like electrify it. it yeah hot wire it so you know we're just gonna kind of head around just look around look for some more money because we don't quite have enough but when we're done when we're done Brody we're gonna have a building and we're gonna have somewhere to stay and it's not gonna be like Ooh. whatever I have yet to have a house my house wasn't even it's like hardly started and then those people Game. Do we know what happened to them? Like, I know, I know, uh, like no. most of them are dead, but like that that one guy yeah. with the spec ops. Unless if he like was just wearing a different outfit, I think he's still alive. That's that's kind of scary. A, that's a bit. Yeah. That's a little. Yeah, yeah he could, he could be like creepy. on that roof right there, like you know. Huh. Anyway, that's a tree, not him. I got it. Don't worry. Okay, well, if that was him, you would have killed him. Anyways, we're gonna go yeah. and just go find some more money. That's about it. Not not much else to do. I think we've been down yeah. there though. That's where the whatever it is. Wait, aren't there, there aren't there ATMs down there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can hotwire them. So, uh, oh. is this These one of them? Nope, it's not active. Hmm. Nope. Oh yeah, I should probably turn that on. I thought, I thought, I thought these were the correct ATMs. Oh, hmm. fun. So let's keep yeah. moving, see if there are any others. Aw, oh, this is scary! Oh my god! Bernie! My, headla my headlamp went out! Help! <laughs> I can't oh, see really? anything! Bernie, I need the batteries! Do you have a battery? I can't see anything you? in a bigger oh. radius of this. Here, I'll just like shoot. Oh, I see the light. Is that you? 
I see a headlamp coming towards me. It's so menacing. Oh my god, it's you. Do you have any batteries? Here you go. Right here. Uh, uh, thank there. you. Ah, uh, there, there you go. go. So so much better. It doesn't work. Ah, uh, well. We, we used up all the gas in the generator and we couldn't get the ticket machine to work. So we're gonna go back and... Even though we have enough money now, um, you know, it, it was worth a try. So we're gonna go back, buy the apartment, and then I hear that Brody wants to get militarized. You know. Yeah. J just in case we have here. that. Just in case we have that assassin I'm not gonna get us. ambushed and knocked out again. It's not yeah. happening a second time. Ruslan! Ruslan! Knock! Knock! Ruslan! 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 Ruslan. He's not answering! Oh, there he oh is! Answer what us! Is, you guys are killing me, what's going on? We have your money! Oh, we have yeah, money. money is good, money is good. Hold on, uh, give me just a second, I'll come down. Alright. We have the money for the very miniature apartments that you have let us buy. Yeah. There you go. Hello. Here's Hello. the money. Yep. Here you go. So there's I'm, mine. I'm just kind of curious. How long did it take you guys to get all this money? Well, we took uh -huh. some detours and we might have tried to hotwire a, um, uh, whatever it's called. PayPal machine, and it didn't work. Yeah. So, but we hotwired we some didn't... vending machines. Uh, hang on. Yeah. There we go. So I am going to take this room right here. This beautiful room that faces over nothing. And there's... someone died. Anyways, Brody has this building or this room, so that's nice. Yeah. We still don't know who our neighbor is, but Ruslan's gonna figure it out. So. I get my own room, yeah. and Brody gets his own room with his shotgun. Yay! Oh, what? Now that guy's in the wall. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna. I've decided what I'm gonna do. It's not gonna be a, a doctor like I'm like a hospital. Brody. I've decided. Come in, liberator. We are now landing. All right. So we are here. Jed will stay in the helicopter, unless of course he wants to look around. But. We're going to have to talk to some people and see what's going on. Oi, you there, wait! You took my money! No, I didn't. It was a deal. Yeah, but you didn't hold up your end of the bargain. Yeah, I did. You threw it in the bloody ocean. Might as well tie your feet while the brick and throw you in. You know how to swim, go get it. You think you're better than me? I don't need to be better than you. I have my money. Get back here, you wanker! Well, that was... That was weird. Anyways, um... Yeah, let's just... Hey, do you, do you know anything about this ship? Welcome aboard. You should probably go talk to Captain Sydney on the bridge for orientation. Okay, I, I guess. I mean, I guess we need orientation after that. If you'll interest to give a hand with my first mate, Lawrence... Alright, time to talk to Lawrence. I'm guessing this is Lawrence, yep. For survivors without radios, Co Commander Lawrence plans to put up posters with directions to the Liberator. He sticks place them around this town. Ah, great. I get to go to all the towns again. Oh, boy. Best of luck. Here's the posters we've prepared. One of the places that the Liberator wanted me to place posters was, you know, in Jehovah's. So I'm going to put it here by the police station since... I guess some people would go to the police station if they needed help or if they needed a gun, so we'll just put that there. If anyone happens to walk by, they'll see it. So I am now at, uh, Yekterberg. Now, pointing to the dead guy in the road, doesn't look like there's too many people, so, um, we're just gonna eat, and then we're just gonna leave. Now, you might be wondering why I'm driving the white sedan right now. Well, um, my car is at Camp Belaya right now. And, uh, it's not in good shape. You might be questioning how that happened. I, I wouldn't, this is the second time I've crashed it, so let's just not worry about it. Anyways, I already did the ones in Moscow because I, of course, you know, drove by the helicopter over there, grabbed my car, and I'm just like, hey, I'll just blast them real quick. 
it is time to go to the final police station. Now I'm, I'm at this police station quite a bit, so... You know, there's always stuff there, so I don't know how often other people go there, but I guess we'll see if more people go to the Liberator. Oi! Farmer Hat Man! Get down here! Uh, who is this? Me, Rodriguez. Ah, uh, you you were the guy in the Liberator. Um, what were you, what were you doing with those people? So the mafia they stole my money. Threw my um, cargo overboard. Okay, that's that's interesting. Do you, do you know why they threw your cargo board cargo overboard? I don't know. Some sort of scam or something they had. Probably intimidation. So why are you here exactly then? Well, I want someone to spy on them, and I heard you were the person to talk to. Oh, I don't, I don't really spy on people, but I mean, I, I guess I could. They don't sound very nice. Not necessarily. What are you, what are you wanting me to do exactly? Like, where are we supposed to go? Who am I supposed to spy on? Uh, I didn't think I'd, uh... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he, I'm sure he'll come back. Uh, he's pretty weird. Okay, anyways. Jet. Um, I need a ride. Um. Uh, it's gone. What's gone? The helicopter. What happened to it? Uh, a tree didn't like me. So you're saying a tree attacked you? Yes. So is the helicopter in like disrepair or do we need like do we need a new one? We need a new plane or You sound like you're on a radio, but I heard that we need a new plane. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Anyways, um Looks like we can't uh go to the <laughs> Liberator to say that we put posters up. So uh yeah. We're gonna have to get a new plan now. Uh, I'm gonna since it's nighttime. I think I'm gonna sleep it out and have you deal with your um voice. It sounds pretty bad. It sounds like you have a lot of drainage yeah. in your throat. So yeah. yeah, I don't know what you said, but I'll see you later. What? Oh. oh. Uh, who is it? Oh, oh. hey, Brody. Hey, I found this note on your uh, door. It says, uh, hey, I found where the Mafia has been hanging out. I won't be joining you guys since I've got, sort of gotten a lot of trouble with the Liberator. Hope you guys don't mind going down there and taking a look. Signed, Peter. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I saw him getting, like, following a Mafia person out of the Liberator, and then he showed up down at the bottom of our apartment. And then he just said, hey, could you help me, like look for the Mafia and pay it back because they kind of threw his cargo overboard. But then he ran away because he, I guess, didn't have a plan. So, I mean, we can go take a look. Uh, We're not doing anything. Maybe we'll find the yeah. assassin guy or something there. Probably not. That's Hopefully. a little far-fetched, but, you know. You know, I really want to take Anthony that guy down. Doing? Like, is Anthony... I don't know. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, I was going to say, hopefully Roz is still taking care of him. Hopefully he didn't, like, die or anything. It's been, like, three days now. Anyways. Hey, he's probably drank so much Mountain Dew at this point. Yeah. We're gonna go take the white sedan and go to... Wait, hang on. Did it say where? Uh, there's a little ad address at the bottom. Okay, we'll go to that address. So, I don't know how stealthy we're supposed to be. So, uh, we'll just walk inside. Oh, I've, got we... my su I've got my suppressor. If, if yeah, but, like, stealth, you think they'd notice if someone just died, so... Yeah, let's yeah, just let's look around. Oh, there's someone there. Oh, there's some someone there also. We'll just go up the stairs. I don't know. They must be like listening know. to music. Anyways, yeah, there's uh, that some here. banging tunes going on. Oh, Peter's this? office. Hmm. I didn't know there was a second Peter. Anyways, he's got duct tape. <laughs> and some nice duct tape. They might be doing some arts and crafts. They also have a rope. That's not okay. Uh, let's just search around.
Uh oh. Who the hell are you assholes? Oh, uh. uh I just saw that car down there. Uh. So, uh. How are you guys? How, how's it going? Uh, you guys are the mafia, right? How's uh, it going with the wife and kids out there? So, uh, uh, what do you, what do you get? Do you guys live here? I guess you could say that. I want too much information, right? So, I had a question. Do you guys know a guy named Peter? Yeah, that's me. Oh no, I mean like the the like you scammed them out of money, like yesterday. Oh, I had a different Peter. On... Yeah, we yeah, do that a... stuff on the side. Oh. Well, my name's Peter. So I had a question. Why did you Why did you kick his cargo overboard? Eh, why not? It's not very good business practice. No, I've got to say it's it's really poor business practice, honestly. You know, why are you gonna make money if you, all your port cargo's in the ocean? Yeah, sometimes you gotta send a message, you know. But you know, you also like just extorted him for money <laughs> after he sold it. Yeah, so I think yeah. I think. I think we'll just be leaving now. We were just seeing if anyone was home. No, no. Uh, the, oh, I, really I guess don't think not. So. Okay. Hey, right, back in that room. Back in that room. Oh, go in front of me. Okay. Um. Yeah. Go in that room on the far right. Yeah, where this guy is. Yep. Crikey. So, um. What? What now? Uh, do we just do we just wait in here? Um, yep. I'll leave you guys up to wire. Hey, Wire, I gotta go. I have a business okay. deal right now. Okay. Not let him out of your sight. Okay. Give me an important job here, man. Okay? okay. Keep your eye on, okay? Yeah, I gotta okay. go. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, hey. You're not. You're not Wire, you're Jet. You're, you're the yeah, guy who flies these places. Uh, why are, why yeah. are you here in the Mafia? Mm. Well, first of all, this is just a code name, and um, uh, why is just a code my name? buddy, yeah, my buddy, um, my buddy's the mafia boss. Oh, who's your buddy's name? Aiden. Ah, so Aiden's the mafia leader. Yeah, right. that's pretty yeah. wild. I've I've seen an Aiden I before. Know. The problem is that like he kept his voice anonymous, so you know yeah. maybe that's we'll never know what his voice was. Anonymous. He just became the leader not too long ago. So. Yeah, I mean that's not surprising. There's a lot of new people around here. So um, can can we go? Uh, you you know we aren't gonna like murder anyone probably. Well, like I'm not supposed to get in trouble. Yeah, that kind of stuff. But your friend's the mafia boss. I mean like. He, he, like, you letting someone go wouldn't be a big deal, right? Yeah, I guess, fine. Okay, we'll just, uh. we'll just leave. I mean, just say we, like, punched you or something. Here, I'll just, I'll give you a bloody nose. There you go. Ah, uh, good thing I don't have to use I this. I see ya. I'm gonna go tell the boss about this. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Oh, uh, what? what? Oh, the, the, I said the, hey. The, the guy. Hello. Hello there. I'm looking yeah. for a guy named Peter. We we know quite a few people named Peter. Hey, well, at least two. Yeah. Trouble on our ship. What about your ship? The guy who was causing trouble on the ship. I mean. I, we know someone who's caused trouble on the ship before called Peter, uh, and we're yeah. not really friends with him. Yeah, that's good enough for me. Can you take me to, uh, there's a house, like, somewhere down there. Um, yeah, I'll okay. tell you to stop. Here, here. Nope, stop this here. house. Yeah, and this house, this house. Kind of the opposite of where we needed to go, but sure. Yeah. So, uh, this, this, this house kind of looks broken. I don't know why we're uh, meeting here. Yeah. This uh, one. Uh, okay, I mean... Apparently... Hold uh, on. Maybe the other room? <laughs> yeah. Quite possibly. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, these uh, would say your friend too. Pete has been causing some trouble. Well, he's not really a friend. Yeah, but, uh... yeah. Of course, I'm Peter. I, mm -hmm. I know what Peter you're talking about, though. Yeah, these two have been causing trouble, too. You know, want to mention Kravi? Uh, well, you threw Peter's supplies overboard after the deal. Eh, he deserved it. Your, like your said, allegations though, have no evidence bringing to back into a up. mafia, Bringing into the mafia's, you know, crown jewel of a mansion. Escaping. Breaking into my office, you know, it's not very nice, you know. Do you have any evidence? I saw you guys myself. That's enough evidence for me. Do you have actual evidence? Uh, I think I got security camera footage. I'll have to go and check it again. Well, normally, I just dispose of you right now, both of you, but... Desperate times call for desperate measures, so I'm not really gonna do that. Right now, another Peter, not me. And there's a bunch of them out here in Russia, but of course it's not me. I never do something like this, man. He kidnapped our boss. Well, he couldn't have kidnapped the boss because Peter's in the jail, you know, our jail right now. Yeah, we're really? are we talking are we talking about the same jail? Peter? Are you talking about the Peter that was causing trouble on the boat? Yes, that same Peter. And are you talking about the Peter that was causing trouble on the boat? I'm pretty sure. So. So what I'm hearing is where that, is that Peter. Jail cell? Where is that Where is he being held? Probably on the boat. Yes. I want to go on the boat. The boat but, you kind of want to go on that boat. Well, the boat's too far. The, there's no way he could have swam to shore. So, what I'm hearing is that well, Peter couldn't have kidnapped your boss. Well, if you guys really aren't going to tell me, I might as well just gun you down, okay? We found the boss. Wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, what? Wait, what? What? We what? found the boss. He's in the old the boss? oil rig. The boss? The boss? Yes. The boss? The yeah. oil rig. Come on. Oil rig. Yeah, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can we help you to prove that we didn't kidnap him? Uh, yeah. Sure. You know what? Screw it, sure. Meet us in Kravi in about 10 to 15 minutes. I got a, I got a helicopter. Well, that was intense. Yeah, um, I guess... I guess we'll go help the Mafia, since we kind of made that promise now. Yeah, but... I need to go get some ammo first. I'm a bit low. Yeah, I just I don't I don't know what's wrong with them, you know? Yeah. They're they're a little think... intense and they just get into problems and now we're yeah. mixed into they're, it. They're quite angry fellows. Make sure you bring a bit extra ammo because it seems like they could they could probably tie around and like do yeah, your Yeah, so we're gonna go just to get ready and we'll, I guess we'll meet him yeah. in Crovia State. Ah oh, yes, I finally get to use you. I finally fixed you. Ah. Brett! Brett! <clears throat> oh, I've shot you. myself! I uh, can stop the, heal the bleeding, but it's going to take a while to heal. Ow! Are you, are you okay? It hurts a lot. Do you, do you need to stay home? Probably? Yes. <laughs> okay. I, I am in great pain. Okay, well, just, like, go wobble back to your room, um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, looks like I'm gonna have to go without Brody. I've concluded that Brody is not gonna be able to go with us. He'll be staying back, so I guess if, you know, if something happens in Moscow, he'll be here. I'm gonna go drive down to Krivgrad Harbor, and I guess the Mafia will fly me over to the oil rig. Oh, look who's here. Hello there. Or I take Edward over you any day, but right now need you so we're guessing that they're on that oil rig so we got our hummingbird and we're gonna take you up there and get them I'm guessing your spy kidnapped our boss uh, by the way where is the guy with the shotgun that was with you I'm guessing um he like he didn't shoot himself in the f in the foot but like the blast of him accidentally shooting his gun after he fixed it it was a little bit too much, and he like kind of smacked himself with his gun, and now his legs like all bruised up. Oof. So I mean, yeah, it, he would just be a liability, that, even though he's our even though he's our team medic, he would just be a liability. Yeah, good to know Mafia wouldn't do that. Uh, all right, well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe our grunt here, maybe. Yeah. Is he? Is he? Is he your guys's medic? Uh, not a medic precisely, but he helps. 
with certain jobs and stuff. You're okay. good, gunman. It's if any of us get shot, we're gonna die. So, anyways, let's yeah, just go. I know some medic stuff. Let's, oh, let's just help. go through. If both of you guys are shot, I'm only saving Mafia first. Guys, we're here. Keep your guns hot. Alright, so the mission is simple. We take out the assassin and then we save the mafia boss. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Run! Oh! Shit, shit. Oh my god, it's the boss! I'm gonna go grab him. In case you're wondering why I do this, which I don't care if you do or not, is because the world deserves to be free. Free from leaders and all that dumb nonsense we don't need. Take for instance, Zeleno. I burned it down because they were leaders. We should be able to run free and do whatever, whenever. And I love anarchy. Learn from their mistakes. Damn it, the boss. Hey, get back here. You get him? Gun stop watching. He's getting away. God dang it, he got away. Um, how I is, think I can save how him. is he? I don't know. I don't think I can save him. Uh, too many, no. you know, bullet wounds. He, even added his the uh, radiation around. Yeah, you put his oh, respiration back on him, but I don't think it's too late already. Well, I want to make it quick for my old pal. Look All away. Right. Yep. Well, considering a uh, boss is gone, I was a second in command, so technically I'm the leader of the mafia right now. It's my second. I think I might pick my old pal Edward. I don't think you know him, but. All right. <sighs> New chapter for the Mafia, am I right? Yeah, and he also... He vandalized our helicopter. So uh, we're, gonna have to, we're gonna have to rip these off. Hopefully we don't get, like, radiated, but... Yeah, I might keep the plates on. Doesn't look half bad. Yeah, I guess... I guess again, protection. I like, flying with, uh, I like he, flying with style, though, so... The thing know, is, he was shot, would. so, like... Is he... I don't know. Maybe the assassin's injured now. So... Yeah, I mean... Well... If he is injured, then maybe he's not going to be, you know, doing any stuff for a while, because, you know, bullet wounds, especially with that from a bulldog, take time yeah. to heal. Anyways, I think we should start ripping some of this off so we can at least off. get in there. Ah, so, hey guys, why'd you call us down here? Well, um... Here's my right-hand man, Edward. He's a pretty good guy. I've known him for years inside the Mafia. You can trust him. He's pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty good. Hello, Edward. Yay. I'm Brody. Hey. I'm a doctor. Doctor? Yes, doctor. Well, anyway, I called you guys here because we have a mission down in Kattenberg. Uh, I need to get both of you guys to go down there and, uh, See what's going on. Uh, but I can't go. I've been gravely wounded. 
Ah, crap. Well, you know, I think uh, me and him should go instead. Uh, I'll get the job done. When are we leaving? Uh, I'll soon. I need to grab some stuff. I'll be out in a couple of minutes. Just give me a few. Alright, uh, Brody, you can go take the vehicle. I know it's going to be hard to get home with your crippled leg, but I think you can do it. Think you yeah, can do it? I, I think I can, and I think it'll go better than when we let Anthony drive, because I was crippled. <laughs> when he crashed into a tree? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll go better than that. I'm just going to go inside and wait. So, ha happy to meet you, Edward. Mm-hmm. I need you to do something. All right. Well, right now I got a meeting with some some uh, guy from the coalition. Right now, I think he has Peter uh, Ramirez. Oh, uh, the out. guy, the guy you guys scammed, but then he like did something illegal. Uh, yeah. We'll see what happens to him. Oh, there they are. So, what you guys gonna do with this guy? Boy, oh, he's dropping me off with absolutely nothing. Well, I mean, after you vandalize a liberator, I probably would do it myself. Boy, you want me to drop you to the floor? I'd love to see you try, dude. Get to cover, man! Come on, come on, come on! Jesus, it's our own men. Anyone in Ekaterinburg that's on the Mafia side, stop firing right now. I think we got our own guys. Is this the boss? Dude, who the hell do you think you're shooting at? Of course it's me, dingus. Well, dude, you know, why the hell were you here in the first place, man? Edward said there was fake mafia around. Um, he didn't tell me about any of that. I mean, if there were fake mafia, I would know. The fake mafia was working with the liberators and prisoners. Well, dude, um, that doesn't look like a standard mafia-issued rifle. Where'd you get that, man? It was from Edward. An Echo. Very high military grade. Very hard to get. Well, hang on, man. That looks kind of like the gun the assassin was using, man. I got it from him. He says he never used it before. Oh, dude, um... Look at that barrel. It has some green stuff on it, and... The green stuff only comes from radioactive zones. You know where I first saw the assassin? Radioactive zone. I've never been to the military zone. I'm new. Alright, well, dude, we'll see about that. We'll go check the records. Come with me. I knew it. There's no registration for an echo anywhere in our logs. After looking through the logs, he was telling the truth. He is a recruit, and you know, after looking some more, he was kidnapped, so you know, there's no way he could have gotten that echo. So, if all that's true, then wouldn't that mean Edward was the one with the echo and had been in a, like, radiation zone recently? Uh, sadly, I think so. And now, there, there, there is a lot of radiation zones, so that doesn't immediately mean that Edward is a, you know, is the assassin, but... I still have a feeling that it's not him. You know, to prove it, we'll go check his room. What the hell? I did not know he had a ladder. Are we gonna go up there? It looks like to be spiders, I think you should go first. Uh... Your mansion. I guess so. Yep. Oh. 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 Okay. This, this is something incriminating. Yeah. Anything um, else? I don't hmm, think that's, so. That's the a hiding gear. spot. That's just the gear of the assassin, and there's like a bullet hole there. Looks like some of my bullets actually connected. Yeah. You know what? Weirdly, after that, Edward, uh, Seem to really like just relax. You know, they want to always, you know, sit back and relax. Usually, he's always outgoing. Wants so, to go into what am he? Don't do you guys have a medic at all? Uh, no. Um, I'm the closest thing to a medic, and even then, I don't know that much. Not good stuff. So, all it whoever, is whoever is the assassin is injured right now, right? I think so. He, what Edward was, you know, acting weird. After the, I think uh, we should. I think we should test every single person to make sure that they don't have any bullet holes in them. 
Let's go get Brody, yeah. and he can go and again, take a look at everyone. Room. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I knew him we'll for go. years. I don't know if it, this can really be the guy, but then again... Crim pretty incriminating. Oh, no. We'll go check with Brody, though. Yep. We'll, s we'll see if he can find and out. And then again, one of the best things a Mafia does that everyone knows is how to incriminate other people. Could be someone else. Yeah. Hope Whoever has the bullet hole is the killer. Hello? Hello? You're a doctor, right? Yeah. Let me in. Okay. Hey, can you take a look at this thing on my right arm? Yeah, sure. Uh, roll up your sleeve for me. Hmm. Oh my god. This is a terrible injury. Give me a second to look around real quick. Hmm. What's wrong? That's an interesting place to be shot. And why is that? Uh, no particular reason. Here, let me go get the bandages to bandage you up real quick. Get back. Hey, get back here. Put it right there! I found the assassin. His name was Edward. He tried to get me to help him, but I saw through his ruse. Oh my god, you killed him, dude. Oh guys, can you leave me for a minute? I wanna talk to Edward here. Alright, well have fun talking to a dead man. Alright, well... My old friend, end of the line. Well, that was one ride. Oh, I'm tired wow, from all of this. I think I might go hit the sack back in the mansion. Well, for this, uh, you guys are in my thanks. You guys need any help anytime? Well, might be able to help you, okay? Alright, I think I think we have someone we have to check on. You know? Yeah. Well, you do that. I'm gonna go hit the sack. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Look who it is. Hey guys. It's hey Anthony. There. Hey, Brett and Brody. Anthony, how's your stomach? Ah. Uh... I, it's fine. Okay, I know. Other I know. I know it's been like a like eight days since we saw you, but you know we're here now. We've we've had our own adventures. I'm assuming you got back to health kind of early, and we just kind of left you there. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> yeah, you just swept no, me. No, he's, he's been in bed the whole time. He's oh. got the weakest stomach I've ever seen. <laughs> nice, nice outfit. Yeah, you know, I kind of I kind of went edgy after drinking that Mountain Dew. It was very stressful, I guess. Okay. Th thank you, Roz, for taking care of him. I'm sure he was a great help lying in bed all day. Oh yeah, no, it was fantastic. I got this friend, uh, old friend. Don't don't need to go into the story. Runs a juice bar down in Hawaii. He loves coming up with new types of drinks. And I basically used him to help test it. The product line is phenomenal now, by the way. Wait. Thanks for asking. Wait, hang on. So, while he had a stomach ache, you kept giving him juices to keep giving him. It's a hundred percent organic. Yeah, it's a hundred. It's a hundred percent organic. It fixed what? him up like almost instantly. I, I don't think a Mountain Dew stomach ache lasts for eight days. Uh, do you think he was allergic to one of those fruits? He signed a waiver, so it's not my problem. Oh, okay. Anyways, what what you were you do talking about the guy in Hawaii? Oh yeah, no, I got this old buddy. He uh went down to Hawaii, you know, before all this craziness happened. Opened up a juice bar because what else do you do in Hawaii? And uh is apparently doing really well. I went to go visit him at some point. All right. Do do we have a helicopter to go down there? I think I have one stashed away somewhere. I mean, we just got back, so yeah, there's a helicopter around somewhere. Oh, wait, you guys went down there? I did. He was otherwise in a, inaccessible. Yeah, inaccessible. I, I'm not I'm not going to even question it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just just don't don't try the guava bomb. It's a work in progress. Uh, shouldn't you take that off the menu? It's a work in progress. Okay. Uh, so, when do you think we should go? I mean, do you guys got anything going on here? Like, civilization or anything else? Um, like, not really. People have kind I of mean, just died in the... <laughs> yeah, I've already successfully killed a man. So, I think we're good. Oh, congratulations. Oh, yeah, congrats. We should probably go tell Peter, but we could leave tonight. Yeah. Peter's probably, you could leave leave, I mean, leave a note. I mean, they'll find it. I'm sure. Yeah, P Peter's part of the mafia. We probably we probably shouldn't be involved with him anyways. Yeah, probably not. You should yeah. just ghost him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just leave your ghost at his house. Ghost him. <laughs> yes, of course. You, that's All the right. correct we'll, calling we'll card it. right there. All right. Well, <laughs> let's go pack up our stuff. We don't have much stuff anyways, so. I mean, I, I cleaned out my stuff. My shed will always be here for if we ever come back, but let's go. Yeah.